What is going on, Governor? It's Chiswell here, and I just wanted to give you a quick evaluation of Esmeralda's house. I mean, who doesn't love a good divination, am I right? Okay, so jokes aside, let's talk about how this event works and whether or not you should be playing it. So, um, in this event, you pay gems for a divination. And in a perfect world, you get a great fortune, which is more gems than you put in. In a less than perfect world, you get something else. And we're going to try to do like some on-the-fly analysis here to see what we think of that something else. Now, in the event information, it indicates that the rewards received from each divination will always exceed the value of the gems expended. But my friends, you know that I love to do this in all my videos. What if we compare to the VIP shop? Is it better than the spending of those gems in the VIP shop? Now, if you've already purchased everything in the VIP shop, then of course, like, maybe this, it's better value. But let's try a few divinations, tally how we do, and see if we get out ahead. So here we go. First divination, 150 of these sweet, sweet gems. Bada, boom. What do we get? What do we get? Woo! Oh, holy moly. 210 gems. So we are up 60 gems. Cool. Well, now the 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 uh, pay escalates. Two hundred to do a divination. Three twenty as the potential payout. I mean, even if this doesn't go our way, it paid for itself. So let's give it a shot. Whoa, we're doing it! I swear, it's like it's like the game knows I'm recording. All right, so we're up some number of gems now. It now costs three hundred, but we're gonna get back four eighty in a best case. Esmeralda, show me some love. Oh my gosh. All right. Like, I don't know, guys. Guys and gals, like, are we just doing it? I think we're just doing it. Like, we turn on the camera and magical things happen over here. Let's see. Magic ball. Bring me more crystals. Bada boom. Let's smash the button. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Four in a row. This can't be right. Like, I must be beating the odds in every possible way. I should be keeping score, but I'm too excited to keep score of how much I'm up or down. 700 is a big investment, though, of gems for a best fortune of 1,100. Oh my gosh, the gambling is real. Push the button. What do we get? Are we doing it? Okay, now this is where we get to do some math. Okay, so 10 60-minute speed-ups. For 700 crystals, gems, whatever. Okay, 700 for 10 hours of speed up. There's no way that's worth. That can't be. Can it be? So, if we really wanted a bunch of speed up, we would have purchased it as a larger chunk, as one eight hour chunk, which costs 240 gems, and two of the um, 50 minutes, or sorry, 60 minutes here for 50 a pop. So like 340 gems. So we just like totally broke even. <laughs> we should have stopped while we were ahead. So the existence of the VIP shop completely changes the calculus on participating in events like Esmeralda's house where like it looks good on the surface, but if you're not already maxing out that VIP shop, um, then it's not quite as good as it might seem. Now, uh, the other thing we can do, because, I mean, it's Thanksgiving time, right? And I've been, like, really eager. I've been, like, really eager to feed the turkey. So let's open up the bushels of corn here. I've been saving these things up and farming like a madman. Hey, we did it. Sour's song. So if we want, we can use the temporary skin on our city hall. That's cool. We'll hang on to that for now. And we are going to feed this hungry turkey. Because let me tell you, I have been really wanting to feed this turkey. And I've been waiting to share this turkey with you, my friends. Seriously. Let's feed this sucker. Now, everybody says that if you, like, spam the button, you crit more. I don't know if that's just because it looks like the numbers stay there longer or if you actually crit more. But let's see. I crit 5x. And then I crit 3x, and then I crit 3x, and then I crit 2x, and I'm not spamming the button. 
I don't know if spamming the button is real or a myth, folks. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does it actually work or not? What I really want to do is I want to try it with stars, and I want to not spam it and compare to people who spam it and see if it's less. But if spamming makes you feel like you're having fun, well, I mean, it is kind of fun, I'm not going to lie, then let's do a little spamming. If I push the plus, oh, the plus just shows me where I can get him. Ooh, he's looking kind of uh, kind of cool here. All right. All right, birdie. I got 720 of these. I can feed you all day. I could do this all day. Let's go, bird. It's you and me. You and me and the crits. It's time for you to grow up. Oh, yeah. Oh, gobble, gobble. Dude, he looks so disoriented. Doesn't he look disoriented? Am I making that up? What happens if I have corn cobs left over at the end of these shenanigans? This turkey stuffing excellence. Stuffing the turkey, stuffing the turkey. Dude. I cannot believe. I'm glad we're spamming the button. Can you believe if we were doing this, by the way? Like pushing the button one at a time? We've got to also be approaching the point where this bird grows up a little bit. Which I'm kind of excited about. Also, for like the next 30 minutes, I'm going to have you used a corn cob showing up. Whoa, getting stuffed. How far did we get? Let's do this bird is looking plump. All right, let's keep, let's keep stuffing this bird. Is this moral? I mean, I'm a little concerned. We have so much, so many corn cobs. I hope there's something to do with these corn cobs after we stuff this bird. And if we do get to the finish line, I don't know. Can we get there? It seems unlikely. Oh, no, there's no way. There's no way they're going to let us get to the finish line here. We're going to double time on our feeding. 330 corn cobs to go. Only two levels left. I mean, it's conceivable. It's a race to the finish. Stuff the turkey. This, this is honestly more fun than it ought to be. Boom. 240. I think we can do it. We're totally going to get the turkey sculpture. Ugh. All right. I'm going to get carpal tunnel syndrome from tapping the feed button. We're not even going to be able to appreciate the turkey in the town because we're going to see you used a corn cob. Keep going. Oh, we're so there. Woo! Turkey time. Gobble freaking gobble. Oh, you can exchange it. Oh, for, dude, that, oh, that's amazing. That is so many resource packs that I'm going to get from this event. That is so many resources. Let's claim this. Boom, boom, boom. Pumpkins, turkeys, feasts, action points. Oh, yeah, keys. More keys. Oh, this is sweet. And, ba-boom, the turkey sculpture. Let's build this. It's time to build. We're still using corn cobs. BT dubs. What does it take to build this thing? Special. Building time, one second. All right. Oh, yeah. Dope. Where do we put the bird? By the front? More central? Let's put it by the front. The turkey's in the forest. Boom. Turkey is in. I could destroy it, but I feel like that's like super bad idea. I don't know if you can get it back. I'm not I'm not pushing the button. I'm sure you could get it back. But I don't see it in here anymore. Is it in here? Is it still here? Whatever. Oh, there it is. Special. You've already built the maximum for this sculpture. My friends, we've had our fun stuffing this turkey. I'm going to watch this you used a corn cob for the next 30 minutes. And if you enjoyed this video, you should seriously subscribe. We do fun stuff like this all the time. Um, and we've got some sweet commander guides coming at your request, along with a bunch of other stuff. So um, I hope this video was enjoyable. I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom.